shaman's early morning begins at sea. The sun rises anew, which is the start of the eternal dialogue between the city and the sea. This is Galanjiu, this is the shaman island. I'm Wu Lei. The visitor of this city, Wu Lei, is here in Galanjiu. I'm putting it into the one for security, I'll ensure everyone's safety. Complaining is just a sign of weakness, working hard is the right attitude of life. Captain, you can do it. We can get off now. Today has brought in a great seafood harvest. Brother Jia, who came to the sea to get the goods around 5 in the morning, is so happy that he's smiling from ear to ear. As the sun returns to the sea, the lights in Shapawai go on. Before this place became an internet famous site, David from Germany and his bar had already been here. For his first stop of Gulanju, Wu Lei visits a top class collection on this island. Look at this. Hello. Welcome to the Organ Art Center. Hello. So this pipe organ in our museum is called Boston Emanuel Church Casavant Opus 700. Opus 700? It is the 700th organ of this manufacturing company. Later, because of some historical reasons, it was bought by a patriotic Australian Chinese who was staying here in Galangiu. That's how it got here. This is its console. So this is where the performer stands? Yes, the performer plays here. The two parts at the front and the back are its body. What Wu Lei's looking at is Asia's largest double pipe organ. It has a history of over 100 years, two stories high. The building Wu Lei is in was built, tailored to this organ. I'm so honored, indeed. Box music resounds, grand and majestic. It's as if this 24 tons organ has become the incarnation of deities. The notes roar down, like a tide hitting the listener from all directions. He didn't expect to experience such feelings. I'm a bit... I'm a bit emotional right now. This is amazing. Okay. Thank you. This is amazing, really. I can't tell you how excited I am. I mean it, I was so emotional just now. Because I love listening to music so much. I have a lot of headphones. I mean, which I considered the best. But when I was sitting there, I felt like I bought them for nothing. No songs that I've ever heard can beat this. When I was sitting there, listening, I thought to myself, this melody should only exist in heaven. Would you like to play in this organ's maximum volume? May I? Yes, let's have a try. Go on. It's awesome. May I do it one more time? Yeah, sure. I'm so touched. I'm very touched. I want to get married here, you know? I'm a bit reluctant to leave. I will come here again by myself. The music has the magic to ease all the fatigue from this year. Being here today has relieved my stress. Sea air is just great. I don't know if it's because I'm older now. I visited Galanju once when I was young. The experience and feelings visiting Galanju this time is so different from the last. This is a very beautiful place. The culture here is very interesting, so are the people. We're now heading to our next stop. The next place. 
I'm not scared of the dark. I'm not either. The weather is good. David and Ting Ting are taking a stroll through Shaman's old town with their two children. David from Germany and Ting Ting from Putian fell in love at first sight in Shaman and settled down. Because he loves wandering about every street and corner of the city, David is more familiar with the old town than Ting Ting, a native. Borders in China. We're still gonna take pictures here, right? Haven't done that yet. We haven't. Do you want to? Yeah, why not? You mean wedding photos with our three kids? Yes. In the same kind of outfits. We'll dress the same. This is a bit of the Nanyang style. Nan is Sao. And Yang, as in foreigners? Yes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Shaman Nanin Troop is one of David's favorite places in Shaman. David is the only one in the audience who doesn't understand the Hokkien language. But being unable to understand it means he can empty his mind and gain unlimited inspiration. The slower Nanin is sung, the more skill it takes. The slower, the more hypnotic. The elders have fallen asleep with the music. So have the two kids. Only David is listening with his eyes shining. It's like you're in a daze. Yes, I like it a lot. Look at them dancing. You'll come here very soon too, right? To dance? How many years left? Not this kind of dance, I think. I prefer a more dynamic one. It seems that David from Germany doesn't know what square dancing means to Chinese women. I like Zhongshan Park quite a lot. It's very small. I think it's the best park in Shaman. The best park? It's fashionable. Fashionable? Fashion, yes. This is a... This is a place so typical of Shaman. Yes, this is... A lot of local people come here. A place for daily life. Yeah. David likes to stroll around the old town because it boasts Shaman's unique beauty. The coexistence of Nanyang verandas and residential houses in the dark alleys shows the inclusiveness of this city. This is the number eight market. The back of it. Yes. The back of the number eight market. Number eight market is the most popular seafood market in Shaman, where local people get inspirations for their daily meals. Brother Jia, who grew up nearby, says, nothing has changed here at all. There are two types here. One has six dots, the other four dots. The ones with six dots are more expensive. King crab. Dungeness crab. And the other type is the brown crab. Mr. Seafood is Brother Jia's good friend is a walking encyclopedia. He can tell at a glance whether the aquatic products in front of him are foreign or local. Good quality. If you find a big one, tell me. I have no use for the small ones. I want big ones. Brother Jia was a Beijing drifter when he was younger and lived in Hong Kong once. At the age of 40, he opened a seafood restaurant in his hometown and now has become famous in Shaman's gourmet industry. Give me 279s. I got one a bit more than two kilograms, you want it? No, why would I need such a big one? Let me see. Hold it with two hands, please. I will, don't worry. I'm the only one. In Shaman. Who hold a yellow crooker with one hand. No problem if you hold it underneath its head. It's fine, I know how to hold a yellow crooker well. This one. This one's belly is a bit small. Hearing Brother Jia's sharp comments, the vendor can only give a faint smile. Weigh it for me and send it to my restaurant. Okay, I'll deliver it to you later. Send it to my restaurant later. Okay. Thank you. I need it by noon. Nice lunch. Number 8 market is where the old style is mostly maintained as shaman people remember it. But for Brother Jia, who gets his goods directly from the sea, 
the products in number 8 market no longer surprise him. It's just a place around which he shows his non-local friends when they visit. I don't eat it. I ask him out for a cup of tea. Wuxiang is one of shaman people's favorite snacks. There's always a long queue in front of a Jia Wuxiang. They may be the only ones who are here to drink tea with the owner. Let me try this coconut cake. Yeah, please try. It smells quite good. Yeah, this is a bit more sticky. Yes, it smells good. So tasty. The pastries you eat when drinking tea are called tea sides in shaman. Wu Lei is here to visit a super cool local band, Lei Kyo Electroacoustic Band. He's just in time for Mr. and Mrs. Lei's tea time. They are the, the main musicians. My son is on Galanjiu. My grandson is studying at Shaman Music School on Galanjiu. Music school? He plays the cello. He's only a few years younger than you. How many years? Two or three years? No, I don't think so. What year was he born in? 2002. He was born in 02. He's two years younger than me. Senior three. I was born in 1999. He's three years younger. I heard that you have a band. Yes, we're the Lei Kuo band. Lei Kuo? Our last name is Lei. Your surname is Lei. Kuo stands for this house. We, who love playing instruments, usually. Come together. We all play together. In this courtyard. You play here every week? Yes. In summer, we sometimes go out with our instruments. So when you perform, it's like traveling. Yes. Did you ever think about moving to another place to live? No, we don't. You don't? Shaman is great. Yeah. I think so too, a great place to settle down. Yes, especially for the elders after they retire. It's relatively quiet. Wow, this is... Hawaiian electric guitar. You also need this. A slide bar. Play the first string. Press it down like this. That's the sound. It gives a gorgeous sound. The Hawaiian electric guitar gives a glamorous vibrato, like ocean waves blowing through long hair. This is an instrument with an island's temperament. A drum. For me? For you. Hello. Mr. Chen, our leader. Hello, Mr. Chen. Hello. I'm Wu Lei. Hello. I'm your new drummer. I'm going to enjoy your conga drum performance. I don't know how. This is the rhythm for moderato. What's moderato? Grandpa. Hello, are you coming down to play some music? The average age of Lei Kuo band is over 60. The little girl watching from above is good at guzheng. The piano music coming from next door is played by a granny in her 80s. On Gulanjiu, any senior citizen or child you come across on the streets may be a skilled musician. Gulanjiu has a long musical tradition. The musical enlightenment of Mr. and Mrs. Lei is being taken to a church to sing before they were even old enough to understand anything. Shaman is very different. It has been developing very fast. But Galangio haven't changed much. Every time I come here to play music, I feel great. Like right now, we can also hear the sound of a piano, right? It's from next door? Yes. The player is over 80. Galangio is said to have the highest density of pianos in the world. There are no motor vehicles on Galangio, so it's relatively quiet. The sound of music won't be. So I heard. That family concerts are especially popular on Delangiu. Yes, what we're doing is a family concert. They have been doing family concerts decades ago. They exchanged food stamps for rice wine. Inviting friends over to play and sing together. Music is the shared memory of children on Golangiu. It's also how they remember their childhood. You want to fry fishes? Yes. I fished them. Wow, you did? Very small ones. What's this type of fish called? Yellowhead catfish. You can catch them just by fishing by the sea? Wow. And salt too. Salt. A little bit salt. A little bit pepper. There's not only music but also fried fish. Music can also be a daily necessity. In this era when everything changes a lot, there are people who love music for their lifetime and spend their whole life on an island. Be careful. 
Done. It's done. Wow. Let's go, Grandpa. Okay. Wow, this is really, really great. My visit this time showed me that Shaman is a city where people can slow down and listen to the voice of their hearts. I think there are some things in life you can experience only when you slow down. It was truly an eye-opener. Happiness is not hard to get. Happiness can be something one repeats day after day, year after year. Eric! This is the ninth year of David's life in Shaman. In the past nine years, David went from a handsome young man to a bearded hunk. He now has a wife and three children. Where are your shoes? Put them on. Put them on first. The daily life of David's family begins with Ting Ting urging her daughter to put on her shoes. David himself likes to walk around barefoot, setting an example for the children to liberate one's nature. In this Chinese Western family, a number of different living habits coexist in harmony. The thing now is that we need to give them all the information. What we're going to do is to localize this thing. To establish a shaman brand and go nationwide with it. This morning, the atmosphere in David's house is a bit tense. You can't say you can't do this, you can't do that right now. If so, there's nothing we can do. Yes, I think we shouldn't do anything. Why are you angry? I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Yes, so what do you mean? Didn't we say we were going to do it today? So the first thing is to start a conversation, instead of getting angry. This is interesting, but we don't have to write it down now. David and Ting Ting have a family of nine. They are living in a rented small house. After having three kids, both their life and career are under tremendous pressure. They can't live as casually as before. Okay, you'll have a big store, where you can brew beer, and that'd cost you two million. And you need to pay the rent, and a warehouse. 300 square meters may not be enough, you need 400. You want a good kitchen, a good thing. You can have two bar counters, one on the left, and the other over there. And you need really good food there. No good food, no store. What are you thinking, David? Just get one thing done first, before you think about something else. You're... We haven't even done anything yet, we haven't sold anything yet. And you're already talking about doing something else. Of course. What do you mean, of course? That's not how things work. I think it is. If you can do one thing well, and people are buying. And if that thing is good enough to you. You can say you want to do a new product. You haven't even started to sell anything yet. You're already thinking about something new. Ting Ting is a woman of action, while David is a dreamer. In the process of realizing their dream, they have a big fight. Amy, come on, wanna pick up your brother? Yes, yes. Because they need to pick up their son from school, the fight is temporarily set aside. Hold me. Let's go hand in hand. Hand in hand. I need to hold the umbrella and your brother's raincoats. Don't hold the umbrella. Amy, look what you've turned into. You've turned into. We need to pick up a parcel, too. I really can't hold you. This is making me so angry, you know? I'm really angry. No. I'm angry. No. Stop screaming. If you don't stop crying, you're going home. No. Okay, we're going home. No. Enough. Oh. Hold the umbrella yourself. Hold on to it. Ha <laughs> ha. What would you like to drink? You want a beer or gin tonic? In the evening, David returns to Fat Fat Beer House to meet a university classmate who came from afar. You actually want to make a shaman beer, not a German beer. We want to make a local brand. So we make 40 different beers. David loves shaman. He shows his love by making a shaman beer brand. Behind every beer's strange name, there is a story about life in shaman. Come with us. Come with us. I like that one. I remember that's why you told me. 
you were going to move Shaman and never come back to Europe. I was like shocked. Like, what's going on? Then you really never came back anymore. I'm very happy that I disappeared. In China, it's very easy for people to start something, stop something, to create something new, and try something out. In Germany, I would never dare to do it. When he first came to Xiamen, David was at risk of having to leave the country at any moment because of his visa. He and Ting Ting opened their store in order to be together. My wife and I were like, a little bit crazy. We did so much in such a short time. I didn't speak Chinese, and she didn't speak English when we met. Really? How? Her English is still very bad. How? How does that happen? I don't know. They didn't speak the same language when dating. So they used their hearts to communicate. They used a translation app on their first date. And Ting Ting felt like that period of time was very fascinating. We started building a bigger factory. It's a little bit scary right now. I have three children now. You are very cool. <laughs> Everything that we built is not because I'm so good, but because of my wife and me together. My wife made a lot of things possible. Not just money, but also being a local and her personality. She's much more of a business-capable person than I am.